Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Mike, and welcome back to AXC Garage. Another episode on our Honda Civic EM1 restoration project. On today's episode, we want to get the car all prepped up, cleaned up, ready to go, so we can get the car to the paint shop. So the first thing we got going to do is we'll get the car on the lift right now and get the undercarriage pressure clean. Then we'll jump into the engine bay, get them all cleaned up. Let's get started. Let's take a quick look on the undercarriage of the car. A lot of clay sand all around the car. Um, before we get in the paint shop, obviously when we wanna get that cleaned up. So what we have here, we have uh, just some uh, purple power here. We'll go ahead and get that uh, sprayed down. And uh, we have a pressure cleaner right over there. Uh, just some light pressure clean. It should come right out without any issues. So just a little bit of the purple power and a light power wash underneath here. Man, it coming out really nice. Pretty much everything came off. Suspensions on the carriage, fuel tank. Came out really nice. Now the only thing we have to do now is go ahead and get the floor cleaned up. Look at all this dirt came out. And after we get all this cleaned up, we go ahead and move uh, under the hood and get the engine bay cleaned up too as well. So right here in the engine bay, we will do the same exact thing, some purple power, but we're gonna use a brush, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do some pressure clean after. Uh, Brian right there, he's sending it us for us. Right, well, we good to go. We have the high power, full depot, efficient pressure cleaner to make that engine bay. Hey guys, let's take a closer look at the engine bay. Very, very clean. Purple Power did a great job getting all the dirt and grease off the engine bay. A lot of oil and grease was right over here and also here as well on this rail. And it's pretty much all off. 
looking really really good so now we're gonna take this opportunity and go ahead and get the engine bay all emptied out and cleaned out so we can get ready for paint now most of these parts we'll get from a donor car but regardless we're gonna bag them label them so that we don't miss any components just in case we need them now we got a bunch of ziplock bag here and right over there we got a couple of marker guys the key to any type of restoration is organization so let's go ahead and get started uh, we're gonna go start from like right over here and work our way around it
so we're just about done in the engine bay uh, some of these components are still attached because the subframe is still here once we remove the subframe uh, all these components will just pull forward then we can get to the back of the firewall here now the power steering hose are still attached it looks like someone tried to JB weld the fittings on the power steering rack making it impossible for us to remove that hose but once we again remove the subframe that would come down it shouldn't be any problem now over here we have a couple of bolts for the coilovers up here and also for the upper control arm again once we drop the subframe we will drop it with the suspensions all that go to clear it up then we can uh, maybe get some uh, fresh paint underneath this bay here all right we make pretty good progress on our EM1 restoration project and this pretty much wrap it up for this video so if you like what you see Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you share the videos with your friends and family. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys on the next one.